ninataka munisaidia kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Bwana eh prophet Mato hapo na mamlaki ya mwaka wa 2023 na sasa prophet you come to this altar so that you can be able to to share the prophet the mind of God the humans of the thank you Thank you, Lord. Boy, this sounds so good here. The sound is perfect. 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 I have so much to share from the Lord. I won't get it done in this session. I'll probably need about a week to unpack all the things that God is speaking to me about Kenya and Africa and the body of Christ. But what's about to happen in this next day, it's gonna be so awesome. Lift your hands, I feel the presence of the Lord. I tell you, it's really, really falling. He's really falling, it's like the angels are walking through here right now. I feel that tangible presence of the Lord. The Lord spoke to me about this year And he said it's going to be the time of manifestation. Of everything that's been promised. And he said it's going to be the time of heavenly visitations upon his church and his people. To do what? To correct and direct each person in the way they should go. And then he said that it's going to be the time that we need to focus. A time of focus on the heavenly calling, the heavenly vision ex for exactly what we need to be doing. Let me say before I go a second further, I am absolutely thrilled to be here with our apostle, Archbishop Harrison Nana. Can we give the Lord some praise for him and celebrate the man of God? Come on, give the Lord a hand clap for this great leader. And all of you blessed people, give yourself a hand clap. <laughs> say it out of your mouth, say, Lord, you know you made me great. You made me great. Manifestation, let me explain to you what it is. It's materialization of something real, something wonderful, something powerful. How many have been waiting for something to happen and you just, you're tired of waiting and you got your expectation your expectation is at a high place lift your hands and say Lord do it for me people should never be walking around in a low estate of being when God Almighty has given himself for you to become such a great great person for him a great servant of his and the Lord said I'm going to release heavenly visitations upon my servants and my people to correct and direct them in the exact way they should go. Isaiah 48, 17 said, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. Thank God for the prophet that can lead you into profit. <laughs> and lead you in the way you should go. There's a way we should go and there's a way we should not go. And God, lift your hands, God is gonna direct your steps in this season, the steps of a good one, the order of the Lord. He's going to take you into the place of your harvest fields. He's going to take you into your place of flourishing and fruition of the vision. And he said manifestation of blessing, of riches, of power, of wisdom, of wealth, of strength and might and blessing, glory and honor. We see that in Revelation 5, 12. This is going to be the day when the Lord is going to manifest that. 
And for Kenya, the changes that are coming are amazing, are, are beyond amazing. I have so many notes, I, I, don't, I won't get to them all. But uh, the Lord is, if you want to take your seats, you can take your seats. Bless you. Father, I thank you for your touch. Just lift your hands. Healings are going to happen in this night. Healings are going to happen. Miracles are going to happen for people. God's going to also anoint you and empower you to begin to walk in a new path toward your destiny. And you're going to see things happen by his supernatural favor that you've never seen before in your lifetime. Lift your hands if you received that. Say, I I'm telling you, you've never seen it in your lifetime, what's coming. The Lord has been visiting me day after day after day. I've been wrestling through the night in prayer, in all night prayers for the last month or two or three. It's been a wrestling match with what's coming. And the Lord says, get ready, people. I'm going to break you out of poverty. I'm going to break you out of witchcraft. I'm going to break you out of oppression. I'm going to break you out of things that held you back. I'm going to break you out of what the devil tried to do to stop your progress. Somebody say amen. amen. Manifestation of my power is coming, says the Lord. In ways you've not seen. The angels are walking this field. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The Lord said to me, a new visitation is coming into the city of Nairobi. The, the heavens have opened again. There have been seasons where new revivals begin to hit and break forth. And the Lord says, now, in this season right now, something's about to happen. A new movement is coming. And the Lord said, nobody will be able to pose, oppose this one. He said, those that oppose my anointed and those that want to hurt my anointed and those that want to try to stop the progress of the church, they will fall down and they will not get up again. That's thus saith the Lord. God is not going to play with the devil. He never did. But people have kind of let things happen. People have been conduits and channels for the enemy. The Lord said, I will stop them before they get to do anything this time. Mass deliverance is coming. I mean, it's going to be on a level that we've not seen in every area of your life. Lift your hands. Healing and blessing and glory and deliverance in every area of your life, including economically, financially, how you feel, your relationships, your wisdom, your levels of knowledge and understanding are going to increase the Lord says he's going to touch the nation of Kenya to make people brilliant. And the next generation is going to rise. He spoke to me about the young people. He spoke to me about the education system. The education system. And I'm praying for the, the, the new government that just come in. That God will touch and anoint them with such brilliance and creativity. And a big heart for the people to begin to institute new things. I saw a revamping a change of, of, of curriculum in the school system, like an increase of, of brilliance. I saw schools of business, business opening. I saw people be, from young people getting direction to become great entrepreneurs, great leaders, great technological, uh, excellent workers and leaders, people to birth companies. Come on, somebody. And there'll be no limit to how far people can go. You want to be a billionaire? You can do it. Hallelujah! You want to be a multi-millionaire? You can be it! And come out of this realm of struggling and just, you know, kicking around and trying to survive when God wants you to thrive. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 said, I'll give you treasures of hidden places. Do you not know that by doing this, I, the Lord, I'm showing myself to be your Lord, and I even call you by your own name. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, I am the Lord your God, 
who gives you power to get wealth, to make and multiply and manage things and increase. Lift your hands. The anointing's falling upon people here tonight. I didn't just come to speak words. I came to bring an impartation. And you're going to begin to see the Lord touching you. Your mind is going to become clear from tonight. And I want to speak to whatever happened in 2022. It's over. It's expired. It's gone. It's done. And gone forever and flushed out of our way. How many had a rough time in 2022 and a few things? Uh, yeah. But it's over. We've crossed over. Say amen. One, one, two, three. I like that. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. Come, someone say, one, two, three, go. <clears throat> one, one, two, three. Let's proceed. <clears throat> and God's going to turn up the fire <clears throat> to begin to bring you people into a realm of excellence. It's going to be like astounding how, <clears throat> how great people are going to become going to begin to become I, I don't even know if I should open up my, my tab here because I have so many notes but let me look at something oh god I wrote over 300 300 points on success 300 points on, on, on focus and about another 300 on manifestation and we're going to be putting these in print by the way, we have a new book coming out that your, our Archbishop wrote the forward, a beautiful forward for, and that will be going to print in the next few days on prophetic keys to successful living. And we'll be doing the launch of the book. You'll all be able to get a copy of that. It'll bless your life. Put your hands on your head and say, Lord, <clears throat> illuminate my mind with high thinking, high wisdom, brilliance, knowledge and understanding <clears throat> touch me and anoint me to be a brilliant brilliant person ahead of the pack ahead of others the anointing is falling the Lord says when I started in Kenya it, it is going to increase and move very, very fast. And, and you notice I said the Lord says he started it to make this nation so great. Lift your hands. You're in a very great place, more than you know. This is a prophetic place. This is a powerful place. This is a place of, 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 of leading, leading uh, industries and things like that. All kinds of things are going to happen. And I want to speak something. The Lord said to me, <clears throat> he said, I'm going to stop other people of other nations. I want to do takeovers in Kenya. God says you got to stop them in their tracks and they're not going to get past a certain point. Somebody say amen if you're hearing me. God is going to begin to stop the infiltration and raise up the people of the soil and begin to bless them and, and, and make them more brilliant. In the church, God is going to have people to begin to understand it's the power of the Word of God that delivers us. The Word of God is a blueprint for our life. And the instruction of God prophetically is the plan of action that He has us to walk upon. <clears throat> but without the Word, you have nothing. When Jesus was tempted of the devil in the wilderness, He told that devil, it is written. And the devil had no chance, nothing else to do but run away. He can't handle it. Lift your hands. You got to get into your Bible. You got to study it. You got to read books. You got to get knowledge. You got to fill your head and your heart with the mind of God, the plan of action that God has. And then you become so powerful that no force of darkness can stop you because the Word works and it keeps you above everything else. I love what Archbishop said decree a thing, Job 22 28, and it shall be established unto thee. But before that, the 21st verse, the 22nd verse, he said, Return to the Almighty, and thereby you'll be at peace, and good will come to you. And then he spoke about gold also on your path. God is the God of 
all treasure, all the cattle on the thousand hills, and the thousand hills thereon are his. Nothing is impossible for him. The scripture says, with man, some things seem impossible, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. So we need to side with that. You might say, Lord, I don't know if I have enough help to get where I want to go. God says, I'll help you. Lift your hands up, put your hand in his hand. If you take his hand, he'll help you. A few days ago, the Lord spoke to me about a situation. I'm dealing with a very heavy business thing. Very, very heavy stuff. Very, very, very weighty, very big. And the Lord spoke to me and said, forget about everyone and just trust me. And within 24 hours, more things begin to happen and fly through. I mean, we, we have to put our trust in the right place. Put your hand in his hand like you're holding his hand. You think he won't help you? He said, surely I am the Lord your God, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Cry unto me, I'll rescue you. Is there anything too hard for me? I'll rescue thee. Is there anything too hard for me? In Daniel chapter uh, 12, I want to read something the Lord spoke to me. He's talking about the end times. Obviously, we've kind of crossed over into that. Seemingly so in these days. He said, at that time, Michael shall stand up. Someone say, Michael shall stand up. Someone say, stand up, Michael. Come on, let me hear you. Stand up, Michael. The great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, of course. You see, the world is in a mess. Surely has never, has never been seen even to that time. But your people at that time will be delivered. Are you seeing this? Your people at that time will be delivered. And everyone who's found written in the book to everlasting life, and the others who didn't believe, obviously, to contempt, which is better. But he said, those who are wise, verse 9, Daniel 12, verse 9, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn away, uh, who turn many to, those who turn many to righteousness, they'll be like the stars forever and ever. Can I tell you? Our great apostle, our archbishop, is one of those who turns people to the, to the light. He just did it here. And we saw over a thousand people. It looked like a thousand people to me. I was sitting up there, more than a thousand, I think, came to give their lives to Jesus. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise for that? What's better than that? I was amazed. I said, God, this is great news. <clears throat> so <clears throat> when you're on the right path, you'll shine. Someone say, I'm shining. Yeah. Let's look, let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah 41. Verse 10 said, Fear now not. I am with you. Be not dismayed. I'm the Lord your God. I'll strengthen you. I'll help you. I'll uphold you. And those who are against you will be ashamed and disgraced, and they will become as nothing. And those who strive with you shall even perish. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't pay to mess with the servants of God. He said, you'll see them and you'll not find them again. Those who contended with you, those who warred against you, who made war against you, they shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For the Lord, I the Lord will hold your right hand. Put your right hand up again. You see this in the Holy Ghost? I said it now. I didn't even know it was in the scriptures. Yeah, the Holy Ghost told me to say, speak this word. And I didn't know this was here. I hadn't thought about it, but I just told you. Put your hand in his hand. Do it again. This time, take your right hand. Because he said, he'll hold your right hand. He said, I, the Lord, your God, will hold your right hand 
saying to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, for the Holy One of Israel, he will make you a, a threshing instrument. He'll make you a warrior for him. And you'll thresh the mountains. You'll rejoice. I like, I like this verse 17. Isaiah 41, verse 17. The poor and needy seek water, but there seems to be none. Their tongues thirst, but I, the Lord, will hear them. How many thank God for his mercy? That he's hearing our cries. Lift your hands and worship him. Let's worship him tonight. Is it Thanksgiving and gratefulness to God is one of the greatest things we could ever exhibit because he, he, he's done so much for us. <laughs> he's done so much for me. I tell you, God gave me a promise and said by the end of the year, which was a few moments ago, he said, something great will happen for you. Can I tell you, it happened on Saturday. On the 30th, it was done. By 11 o'clock in the evening, and it's a huge thing. God doesn't lie. He wants to help us. He's merciful. He wants to bless us. Say amen. How many are ready to get blessed? I don't believe a man who's not very blessed can tell you how to be blessed. But a man who's very blessed, you're, you're listening to a very blessed man right now. Blessed of God. And I can, I can speak that into you. Put your right hand out again. Put it in his hand. I want to speak. I want to prophesy this to you right now. God is going to begin to empower you. God's going to begin to give you his wisdom. He's going to put his spirit upon you. He's going to put something in you greater than you've ever seen. Something's about to happen you've not seen before. The spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and counsel and might and the fear of the Lord and power and riches and wisdom and strength and blessing, glory and honor is coming into you to make you rise. And as I preached before, I make you arise and shine. Isaiah 60 said, the glory will be upon you. And everything in the earth will begin to rise to your occasion. To meet you, to bless you, to open things for you. Luke 2.52 said that <clears throat> Jesus grew in stature and in wisdom. And stature and, fa and then with favor with God and man. Oh, I want to tell you prophetically, if you're walking right with God, favor will open up for you. You'll begin to see things you've not seen before. Say amen. God said the poor and the needy seek, <clears throat> but don't find. But God said I will open rivers and desolate places and fountains for them. And the dry land will spring forth with springs of water. And I will plant things and things will grow. And everything will begin to happen. Everything will begin to increase. Prosperity is, prosperity is coming to the economy. Say amen. Say a big amen. Economic breakthrough <clears throat> is coming first to the church. I, I, I don't care if it comes to the world because I don't know what they're going to do with it. But Ecclesiastes 2.26 gave a promise and God said to the one I love, I will give wisdom, I'll give joy, and I'll give, you know, my favor. And he said, but to the sinner, I give the job of gathering and collecting things that they can be given to the one who's good before God. Remember Proverbs 13, 22, where it said, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Lift your hands. Say, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for me. It's for me, from every source. So I don't want to pray for the world to get more money. I want to pray for you to get more money. Lift your hands to me right now and say, I, I receive it. I want to pray for you to be successful in business. I want to pray for you to have treasures from God's own hand fall into your hands. Come on now. How many still got your hand in his hand? This is so powerful. If I only said that, I think that was it's a revelation. You got to grab God's hand because where he is, prosperity is. Where he is, power is. Where he is, wisdom is. Where he is, brilliance is. Where he is, victory is. Where he is, there's no devil that can stand in the way of what it is you need to be doing and getting done. <clears throat> now I have so much for Kenya. Should I? Should I? 
I don't hear no amens. I have so much for Kenya. I don't know. It's just. The Lord said, government leaders, though it seems unlikely to happen, many of them are going to be struck by the power of God and they're going to have a broken heart to give their lives to the Lord. Lift your hands. Let's pray over that. People in government who people thought, oh, politics is a dirty game, you know, uh, uh, corruption and all that. And the Lord says, my movement of anti-corruption from heaven has been released upon the nation and it's already working, but you're going to see it work even in greater measures. Just last night I saw they found the, the, the gang in Nakuru, you know, they're on it, they're on it. Things are getting rooted out. People are not going to be able to do the criminal behavior and horrific things they've done for so long. God is going to stop it. Come on, somebody. If the church is praying and you bind these things, they cannot, they cannot keep working. These criminals can't keep operating. Lift your hands. Let's pray right now for a second over that. God Almighty. I, I was in uh, Gatundu South next to uh, First President Jomo Kenyatta's home there. The, the, former state house and there was a group of people that were killing people and I went there to speak in a church and the Lord spoke to me and said I'm going to stop this thing can I tell you in 24 hours the interior minister at the time in the last government went on the news media and he said we have found these guys and we have stopped the whole thing and our job is to protect the people and the Wanachi don't have to worry you'll be able to sleep at night because we're going to be doing our jobs it's for you to sleep not for us to sleep he actually said that God is moving someone say God is moving say anti-corruption say anti-criminality say anti-perversion anti-illicit activity of every way shape and form is being stopped by Jehovah and by the church. Lift your hands. Holiness unto the Lord, without which no man will see the Lord. <clears throat> to, to be holy means to be one with Him. The word holy means one. To become one with Him. Connected together with Him. I have a... a I'm excited about the book that's coming out. I have a book here on uh, 250 prophecies for Kenya. If I had time, I'd go into some of them. But we're gonna go, this is sold out. We're gonna go to reprint. But God spoke so many things about the reformation of the society. It's, it's entitled Healing the Soul of the Society. And it's actually 250 pages. Another volume I found in the archives and we're getting it uh, ready for manuscript now and that's going to be a volume two to that we want to release it <clears throat> to the people God is interested in every single facet of your life he's interested in every facet of the governmental structure the societal structure the infrastructure the economy the, 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 the society the, the, the philosophies of people the worldview of people and the Lord says, international, yeah, Lord, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I didn't hear this before, but I'm hearing it right now. More international investment is going to come into Kenya. Lift your hands. There's a flood and wave of money. I see in the billions of dollars. I don't know from which countries, but it, it, God's going to touch and tap those resources to get them here to set the economy straight, and it's going to shoot up from there. Lift your hands. You better thank God that God is working on this thing because it's going to absolutely help the entire society go into a higher level of operation. The Lord told me <clears throat> that uh, the day will come when it won't be a strange thing, even in the banking system, for people to have millions of dollars in their accounts. Lift your hands. Could you be one of those people? Millions of shillings is okay, but a million shillings is only like... 9,000 bucks. It's not much, but a million dollars is 122 million. 
How many know a million dollars is better in the equation of things? How many can see yourself? You have a hundred million in your account. How many can see that? Come on, lift your hands, come on. Some people say, oh, if I only had another 10K, if I only had 30K, I gotta pay the school fees, what am I gonna do? The, the days of the prayer requests of people just always talking about the problem has to end. The Lord told me to challenge the church and say, look, stop talking about your problems and start speaking the solution. All right, go ahead and clap, do it. Three people like this. I know it's cold on the mountaintop, but you can get you know, Is your blood circulating? Give Jesus a hand of praise. Go ahead. You need to be a solution bearer, a, a solution giver, a solution receiver. Not a problem instigator, not a problem causer, not a problem complainer, not a person that just looks at situations and says, well, this is how it is, what am I going to do? As God's prophet, I tell people, let's get the answer working for you. For thus says the Lord, I'm pouring out a new wave of my glory upon my elect, and I'm going to raise an elite society within the church. I'm going to raise an elite group of entrepreneurs and business leaders and brilliant thinkers and wise people with wise counsel in the midst of your society. And God says, I'm going to begin to cause men to think on levels they've not thought before. I'm going to begin to give people here a world view of excellence of the whole entire scope of huge ways of living in great prosperity and great abundance and great success. Lift your hands and let's pray over that word right now. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Ignorance is a killer. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Another verse says, through knowledge, the just will be delivered. Knowledge is power. Wisdom is power. Wisdom brings you ornaments of grace, of favor, and even riches and wealth, and knowing what to do in every situation. The Lord says, I'm baptizing my people in this, with the spirit of wisdom. Get ready for something coming that you've not seen before. Can you lift your hands? I say it again, the Lord said this year, the emphasis, and I'm naming it, he named it this. He said this is gonna be the year of manifestation. This is gonna be the year of heavenly visitations to correct and direct my sons and daughters in the right way and show them what I want them to be doing. And this is gonna be the year of focus. You must focus. Let me speak some manifestations. Father, I thank you for the touch of manifestation in blessing, in healing, in deliverance, in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, breakthrough, and uh, uh, good living, manifestations of all kinds of blessings. How many need a, a vehicle of your own? I saw people walking. I saw people walking from the road. I began to weep as I was driving in here. I thought, no, I didn't tell anybody what I was with. I just felt it in my heart. I said, Lord, look at all these people walking on their feet. Can they have cars of their own? Can they have their own cars? How many want to move to a better house? You want to live in a beautiful place with beautiful furnishings and beautiful. How many want to dress very well? How many want to carry yourself like a royal ambassador? God is going to see to it that you have manifestations of these things. How many have had a dream, either for ministry or business or something, career advancement, something you want to go up higher in? The Lord is going to manifest that thing for you. And I'll tell you something, this month of January that we just started will not pass for many people here, I prophesy, until God opens new doors of favor for you, new networks in business, new jobs, come on, lift your hands, new employment, new things, all kinds of things like that. 
favor that you've not seen before and you'll just shake your head and begin to weep and say, God, surely this is you doing this for me. <clears throat> it's a new season. It's a new day. I wanted to throw the word revival in the title of the theme and the Lord said, no, revival will work itself out. He spoke that to me while I was sitting here, up here a few minutes ago. He said, don't put it there. He said, I, he said, when you're receiving manifestations and you're being visited by me from the heavenly realm and I'm correcting your focus and directing you and you're, you're focusing on what I want you to be focusing on, everything you touch will turn to revival. Revival is not some special thing that we call revival. It's to give life again, but if the life is in you, everything you touch begins to prosper. Genesis 39 says, Joseph was a prosperous man because the Lord was with him. If the Lord is with you, everything you touch will prosper. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 said what? I am the Lord your God. And if you listen to my voice, he says everything you, you everywhere you go, everything you touch, lift your hands everything will begin to prosper. And even the heathen, the people of the world will fear you because of the power of the covenant working for you. Manifestation means results. Materialization, fruition. God said it's time for that. Not to talk. You know, talk, 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 talk. How about have, 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 have. Stretch your hand out. The open hand of God, I saw it in a vision. Oh yeah, okay Lord. It's coming. This morning, I had a strange vision. Didn't want to forget this. I saw in a, it's a very strange dream I had prophetically this morning. Very strange dream. Actually, I woke up and then I was still I was seeing a vision. I saw like the devil coming and putting dead things around people. Dead situations, dead people, not physically maybe, but just things that were just a void of life. And people were just in that environment. And I said, Lord, no, wipe it away. And they began to just begin to be thrown off. Every, I prophesy every dead thing in your life, every dead environment, every wrong relationship, every kind of thing that's holding you back, a thing of death that's tied to death or stagnancy or, or any problem. God is breaking that thing off of you. Let me tell you something. Everything wrong, sickness, oppression, disease, failure, poverty, lack, frustration, heartache, emotional pain, all of that is of the devil. God did none of it. He only wants you to prosper and succeed. Lift your hands. He said, the thief comes to steal, John 10, 10. Just to kill and destroy. But I come to give you life and that more abundantly. The only thing Jesus has is abundant life. Now, some people will want to argue and say, well, that meant spiritual life. Then why did he say, and then more abundantly? Spiritual life, Archbishop, when you, a person receives Jesus as their savior, they're saved. It's a one time, it's one thing. It doesn't have abundance or lack or measurements in it. If you're saved, you're saved. Those that came to the altar and prayed, you're saved. It's a settled thing, there's not levels of it. So why did Jesus say, and then add it, and then more abundantly? Because he's talking about your life, Lift your hand. abundance that you can give. Abraham was blessed to be a blessing. Yeah, God <laughs> can give you so much, and you have your pockets are so full, you're running over and you're giving out to help everybody else. Lift your hands. If you have a vision to help people, God will honor you. He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Father, we pray for our president and all of his operatives and cabinet, cabinets and 
that shall touch them with divine wisdom. As you spoke years ago that you're touching Mr. William Ruto with divine wisdom. Three years before the election, God spoke to me in the middle of 2019, I believe it was also the month of August, three years before the election. And I bowed my head one day and I said, Lord, so who will be the fifth president of Kenya? And he said, the name. Let's pray right now. Let's pray right now. Let's pray, lift your voice and pray right now. For our beloved president and the uh, all the people in government lift your voice let's pray Father blow your precious wind of the Holy Spirit upon all of them that they do what's good for this land we thank you, Father, that the church is going to arise and shine in ways we have never seen before from this day and hour. The glory of God is falling upon people for you to arise and shine and break through. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm Thomas Manton IV. God bless you. You love me? I love you. You can follow us on Facebook. Facebook.com forward sign Thomas Mantle. You can follow us there. Let's give the Lord another hand for our Archbishop, the visionary. Whoever's coming, the microphone is yours. I'll finish. Thank you, Lord. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise? Are you people too cold? You're freezing cold or what? Is your blood circulating? Come on, someone stand up on your feet and let's give God a shout of praise right now. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the Bishop and Overseer of our souls, the Great Shepherd, the Door, the Bread of the Life, the I Am, the Amen, the Faithful and the True, the Lily of the Valley, the Rose of Shalom. Hallelujah! Someone shout hallelujah! Let's appreciate the servant of God, uh, Prophet Manto. That God has used him to speak to us today. Hallelujah.